uh, uh, can everybody see my uh, my screen? Can everybody see that okay? Should see some red letters there. Precise entries, stops, and targets made simple. Uh, everybody got that okay? All right, we're good. And uh, how's the audio? Is it okay? Sound uh, mucho bueno? <laughs> Here I am in South Texas, and I can't speak Spanish. Um, you know, there, there, yeah, there are a lot of ways uh, to win. There's, there's uh, several. I, I sure, certainly haven't discovered them all, uh, and you probably haven't either. Uh, <laughs> you know, some of you, some of them will just settle for one. <laughs> just give me one way to win. Uh, but I tell you what, guys, and you probably know it. There are a thousand, uh, a zillion ways to lose. And if the, you know, if the markets would stay static and, and their dynamics wouldn't qu would just quit changing on it. Well, shoot, the way we trade today is how we'd be trading 10 years from now. But nobody's trading the same today as they were probably even last year uh, because the markets change. They, they evolve. You know, as I mentioned, when I started trading futures long ago, I, I guess there'd be at least, uh, when I do the trade show, in New York and Vegas and all over, I'd, I'd say easily 9 out of 10, maybe 19 out of 20 traders would, they didn't even know what an E-mini was. <laughs> They thought that was an Austin Powers movie. Uh, so, so what the markets uh, tell us as, as professional traders is that, and, and if you if you don't pull anything else from my presentation today, write this down. If we ever stop learning, we're guaranteed to stop winning. I mean, I, I'll write it in blood. You stop learning, and you the markets will just pass you up. They'll roll over you like a like a steamroller. Uh, so st to stay ahead of the game, you got to keep learning. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, entries, stops, targets, and reduce the workload and and increase your profits uh, starting right away. And that's what I uh, really appreciated in our uh, previous presenter. Great job! And uh, that stuff that you can you can jump out there in the market and just start uh, start having fun with it uh, tomorrow. Don't expect to be uh, a master in making money hand over fist uh, on a Friday here in uh, in mid uh, uh, mid July. It, it's it's probably not going to happen. But with a little practice and, and with some mentorship and and some training, uh, what I'm going to show you is something that uh, I think anybody could do it. Um, <laughs> it's so simple, you know. I thought. <laughs> I thought I could teach my dog Rolex to trade. I mean, I, I was telling Beverly, I said, uh, this, this, I got this down so simple, I, I bet a Rolex could trade. I had to take him off the keyboard because he could only win three out of five. Uh, okay, that was a joke. It's, it's not that simple. All right, let's get going and um, talk, about, talk about the market. And, of course, before we do that, we have to do this. This is the fun and exciting part. To let you know, don't trade with capital you can't afford to lose. Uh, there are uh, risks out there, and past performance doesn't guarantee future results, and all that stuff, all that stuff. Here, I'll give you a chance to read this. Or actually, it's a recording. They're recording them all. So, uh, those of you that like the uh, uh, the risk disclosures, we got them right here. So, uh, enjoy. All right, let's get going. Uh, much of what you uh, are about to see is going to be new. I'll I'll, I'll <laughs> warn you up front. You're going to say, oh, my goodness, what is that? Uh, nothing's going to be complicated. But, you know, to, to somebody who's never seen a wheelbarrow, <laughs> it looks complicated. What is that thing? Uh, so it's not, it's not going to be complicated. And I'm glad. We're, we, I got my whole crew here. They'll be glad to answer any questions that you guys have. And the best way to get the most out of the, this presentation and all the presentations today uh, is to ask those questions, and I love this group, man. I was looking at you. You guys are not bashful about asking questions, so uh, keep it up. Got my crew here to answer, and if it's something that uh, is more of a technical nature or something that needs to be explained uh, visibly, I'd be glad to do it. Be glad to do that for you. Uh, and everybody else was showing their results, so I'll put my puny little <laughs> little results up here just to show you I'm a trader. In the in the trading room, my goal is to make a four-figure income and uh, do that with two contracts. Two contracts taking mm, six to eight, six to ten trades, and uh, and 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 crank out a, a four-figure. If you see any zeros here, it wasn't that 
I didn't make anything. But this this uh, this week right here, let me get my, I don't know. Can you guys see that? Can you see my mouse moving? I think, yeah, you can. Um, uh, you see, I didn't, make, I didn't make my goal any day that week. But the monthly average is what is what uh, I shoot for. I want that monthly average to be four figures. Uh, and you can see it's pretty consistent, isn't it? You know, and that's, that's not saying you're going to get out there and make an average of four figures a day. Uh, I don't. You can see I have some stinker days. <laughs> I have some red ones. Uh, we, we all do. But uh, you, set a, you set a goal based on what you can do. And that's when I help you determine what are you capable of. And just starting out. Uh, you, starting out, you may only, you know, maybe you can only, uh, on one or two contracts, you can only crank out 100 bucks a day. Well, okay, that's that's five hundred a week, two grand a month. You know that'll pay the house note and put some gas in the car. But then, the more you do things, the more you do anything, the better you get at it. Except driving and golf. <laughs> and trust me, you can you can spend years driving and golf and you don't get any better. Uh, at least I haven't. Um, anyway, that's uh, trading. You will get better, and especially if you have someone there to help you. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But uh, with a really good system, and a good system is one that works for you. There have been some great things presented today, but picking a trading system, mine included, is like, is like, is like choosing a spouse. You know, man, you don't want to make a, a snap decision. You know, whenever we rush to, to make quick decisions, it's usually a mis <laughs> it usually doesn't go well, does it? When we uh, rush to pick our spouse, we rush to pick a house we're going to live in or the car we're going to drive. Uh, these things, uh, and, and trading system, guys, it's it's a this. You're married to this thing. This is what's going to uh, this is what's going to uh, you know, put the put the put the meat on the table from here on out. And it, it's got to work for you. And if the drawdowns are too brutal, or it's too darn complicated, or just boring. It only finds one or two trades a week or month. <laughs> then it's not going to worry. It certainly wouldn't work for me. So uh, you know, take take your time when you decide what uh, what system you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get married to because you're you're stuck with this thing and you and many of you just can't afford to make a mistake. You know, and before we get uh, into it, let me show you some other here, uh, some others. This is uh, Monday. That's my my uh, uh, totals uh, for the day by instrument. It was 11:05 for the day. Uh, 10:50 on uh, Tuesday, the 8th. Yesterday, ooh, good day, 19:10, and uh, today, uh, 1,060. Um, and, and before we uh, get into it, I do want to bring up because somebody's going to ask this: Why would a guy? Why would a guy who trades well ever do anything so absolutely boneheaded, crazy, as to want to help someone else? Man, why would they want to do that? Why don't they just hunker down over that mouse and that keyboard and just keep clicking away and hauling in those bucks? Why would they want to ever help anybody? You know, a lot of traders. I don't know. They try to live my life through themselves. You know, they, they'd be on the golf course, or they'd be fishing, or they'd be bowling, or or doing something. Uh, but I don't golf. I don't bowl. Uh, I don't garden. I'd rather take a beating and with a chain wrapped in barbed wire than than to get out and pull weeds. Uh, what I love, guys, is trading. Is trading is my life. It, it's it's not just my income. It's my hobby. It's my life. And I'd rather be spending my time at, the, at a computer trading and developing systems and studying this and checking that and testing this and helping others than anything else I can think of. You know, out there in this group, right here, today, right now, this moment, there are probably, I would bet you, there's, there's I'll say several, but I bet it's more than that, who have invested fortunes, and uh, small fortunes anyway, maybe big ones, and years, years of your life trying to master the skill, that, that, that devilish skill of, of trading. And trading is a skill. It's not an art. It, it's, 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 uh, it's a skill. And uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it's something that you, you acquire, that skill, just like anything else. And, and these, you guys, many of you have, have reached the point of almost desperation. And, and I don't mean to get personal, but 
you know, you just reach the point where you can't afford to make them another mistake. And, and that's why before you choose any system, just take your time, okay? Take your time. Um, if, if, if a person came to you, if, that, if a person came to you desperate and it just, you know, says, hey, well, say it's your neighbor, man, his car broke down and you're a mechanic, would you help him? Would you help him or would you say, hey, you know, you're on your own? Um, especially if you loved working on cars, <laughs> you know, you probably would say, yeah, move over. Let's get this thing going. Uh, so if that person came to you and asked you to help them and you could, uh, you didn't, and you'd enjoy every minute doing it, uh, would you? Yeah, I would. I would. And, and there are those that can't understand the tremendous satisfaction that some people get out of helping others that uh, they might tell somebody to go and get lost. I ain't going to help you. Um, I, I do wish I could do what I'm going to show you for free, but uh, and many times I have, trust me. Uh, but to maximize my ability to teach and mentor and, and utilize my time effectively, I have to have help. And, and that help comes from my staff, which you'll uh, see here in the room. That's uh, Clint Hager. And I believe Rod, Rod might be in here, in Beverly. Uh, but to maximize uh, my abilities, I, I had to, I have to have a staff. And unfortunately, these guys don't work for free. I tried, I tried to get them to work for free, but most of you guys understand that. Okay, let's get going. Oh, I do have an equity coverage result. How'd you do last year? I think I've got that on here. Uh, and then we got to get off of this, but. These are my equity curves. I wish uh, I had it uh, done for, uh, and I'm by. I don't have this on this computer, but and I've got some uh, some catching up to do for uh, 2014. But you can see those those are my equity curves. And for uh, what was that May through December or half of December of last year. And it's, you know it's okay. You know as long as they're going up, right? Okay. One of the things that uh, that I got, you know, to me it was a discovery, it was an epiphany, it was a revelation, uh, was, uh, was chart types. And I know you guys, I bet you, you guys don't just sit there and trade one or have, have at least looked around and experimented with bar type. Oh, you, you, maybe you're, you're trading time-based charts like one minute, three minute, five minute, seven minute. We've seen a lot of those in the, in the presentations today. Um, Maybe you went to tick charts. I sure did. Man, I got off of time-based charts quick as I could. Uh, but tick charts weren't that much better. Uh, range charts, yeah, that was, that was an improvement. Uh, then uh, what's called line break charts. Yeah, I like those. Never really got uh, too interested in volume charts or some of that other exotic stuff. But then I discovered, I was just fooling around one day, and I saw Ninja Traders Ranko chart. Now, they weren't what I wanted, but I saw a little seed of something in there. And I got with my programmer, Rod, and I said, God, look at these things. <laughs> these are, they're, 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 let's, let's work on these uh, because there's something here. And this is what uh, we came up with years ago, the Felton Trading, Ranko Supreme. And I want you to look at the difference. Now, this is about, mm, what, two days, two days of beta. Uh, not quite, but... That's a uh, nine o'clock, uh, roughly, uh, on gold. Uh, on uh, what day was that? That was uh, July second. Uh, on a one-minute chart, uh, not gold. It's oil, uh, CL, and uh, goes to about eleven o'clock. Now let's look at the same market on a Renko chart. The, the Renko Supreme. Now we've got our support and resistance lines in there. It's kind of a new. Uh, a new thing that uh, Rod is always working. This guy pounds on that keyboard. He's a he is a <laughs> he, he's like me. He lives, eats, breathes, and sleeps candlestick. And uh, if, if if he's if he's not eating Twinkies, he's uh, pounding on the keyboard, pounding out code. And uh, he made these things. And these things, the, these these lines that he created are nothing less than incredible uh, support and resistance lines. I'm a scalper, guys. I don't need to know what the market's going to do five weeks from now or uh, at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's just, it, it's, I don't want that kind of exposure in the market. I want, to, I want my trade to get in, get me out, and, and if I do my job right, pay me now and let me get on to the next one. It's just how I trade. Um, but anyway, if you'll, uh, we'll talk about these in, in a little bit. Uh, but, uh, but look, that's the same time. That's roughly about 9 o'clock. 
on the, the on the first and uh, out to about eleven o'clock on the on the second of July. Uh, does that even look like the same market to you? Which which uh, which chart would you rather trade on? <laughs> Yeah, you know, when I saw these things, now this isn't what what uh, ninjas look like. Uh, these they, they these they needed a lot of work. And the the, the beauty of these is they're so flexible. Um, uh, I can make these anything I want. I can completely change their shape if I put these on a. Now this is what I call a a half step chart. And the way these the way these work, each bar. Uh, well, look at this number up here, twenty ten. Okay, now you can pick any number. Uh, 10, 5, 8, 4, 6, 3, 4, 2, uh, 50, 25, just put, you know, and they don't have to be halvesies. It could be 20, 13. It could be uh, 10, 10, 3. Uh, it could be anything. Uh, but you can make, you can completely change the way they look, but you're looking for that beautiful ocean wave cycling up and down where any short up here is going to win, any long down here is going to win, any short up here will, any long, any short, any long, any short. And that's, that's how we play the game all day long. And, and, and it's easy to teach because you can look at these, these bars and from 50 feet away and get a good idea where that market's going as it runs from one level to the next, to the next, to the next, bouncing around like a pinball machine. Uh, and look at the difference. I, when I trade this, man, I don't, you know, I'm going long when this thing co co collapses on me, and I'm going short down here because the market's coming down. I see a short down here, and it clobbers me. It took me years to master the time-based chart. I did, but uh, I, I, I hated them. I, I hated them every, every day I traded them. traded a one- and three-minute uh, for, oh, I don't know, uh, three or four years. That was back when the S and P. That was the old. That's all there was in the very beginning. Anyway, all right. So that's uh, that's the Renko Supreme. Uh, there are uh, uh, different uh, varieties of it, and we'll see uh, some some different uh, formations. But it's all uh, Renkos, and just by inputting different numbers up here, you're going to get different looks, and 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 uh, those different looks do different things. They're for trading uh, in different ways. Which uh, we we teach in the in the trading room. Now this is this is one uh, one day, okay? Because some people say, yeah, but Roger, man, that's a twenty tick bar just on the blue, and I, you mean I got to use a twenty five or thirty tick stop or something here? Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you're going to trade a big old chart like that. But most people say, yeah, hey, come on, I need a I need a six tick stop or an eight or a ten or something. Uh, this is uh, again the one-minute chart. Oil, uh, same same thing. But this is just one. This is just a morning. This is just 8:30 to 12 noon. Again, it's all over the place. You can't get hardly two or three bars to hold one color for for worth a hoot. It's 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 choppy, congested. It's a mess. What these Renkos do is take all this this garbage and consolidate it into one bar. It, it just tosses it into into one bag, and boom, you got one bar. So you don't see all this noise, all this stuff. So a bar may take a while to to, to open and and reach its high, low, and close, but that's uh, that that's a, a beautiful way to look at the market. I, I I'll never I'll never go back to these bars. But anyway, this is uh, this is I've taken some of the uh, indicators off, so you can just see them stripped down to just bar. Uh, with that, it's the same thing. 8:30 to 12 noon, same same market. But look at the difference. Doesn't even look like it's the same animal, does it? Oh, it doesn't. I'm sorry, that doesn't. It's a CL versus gold. But isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's just. It, I, I don't think I can draw on this thing, but it's up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, we, we'll look at uh, we'll look at various uh, various markets uh, out here today. But that's uh, that's one of them. Uh, out here. Well, let's go out to the live market because I got some things I want to want to show you. How many of you guys use uh, in your trading? How many of you guys use uh, or have used and tried divergence? Divergence. How many have used or or you currently use or have tried trading divergence? 
What I loved about DeBerg, and I taught it for years and years uh, exclusively. I mean, that's all I taught uh, because I'm so powerful. But the problem with divergence is that, you know, why does, why does it one go nowhere and another one goes backwards? He goes the wrong way. And, and then if you, tra if you trace a trend, you know, a, a, an uptrend or downtrend down to its root candle to the lowest bar, by golly, there's a, there's a divergence signal there that launched that big move. And there it is right there. Uh, the the, the uh, uh, beauty of divergence was real easy to teach. There's only two parts to it. I had three because I used two oscillators on it. But uh, the, 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 the formation on divergence, for those of you who, who haven't used it or, or need a refresher course, uh, markets are always going up and down, up and down, up and down, right? They'll, they'll markets, I'll use the wrong tool. Um, markets will come up here to a high, then down to a low, then back up to another high. And they call, you know, traders have been calling this a double top for the last 500 years. Uh, right there, right, you've got a double top. Now, our double top is, is a little different from many of them. Because we're not that restricted, our double top. Uh, when when it, once the first high is made, the second high can be a little shy of what that first high was. Might not make it up to that high, but it's got to come up eighty percent. Now that got to be a little bit of a, a pain in the rear, having to get out a. a I use the Fibonacci tool. <laughs> And I just I just set it to where it would only show me 80%. And so I'd put that from here to here or here to here. And I said, okay, uh, you know, got to hit that 50, that 80% line. And uh, then when I when I found Rod Armour, <laughs> he uh, he said, oh man, you know, dump that thing. I'll I'll show you where you know I'll I'll have the code find it because sometimes it it looks like it looks like it's a signal and it's not, and other times it looks like it isn't and then it is. Uh, so he uh, he coded it so the, the the code will find our what we call BDs for basic divergence signal, basic divergence signal, BD. If they're purple, it's saying I really like this formation. It's a strong it's a strong haul. Get get on this horse because he's going to take you places. This, by the way, is a is a ten five. So each bar here on the colored part is ten ticks. And so you might use a, I don't know, 11 or 12 tick stop. Uh, but the, uh, the, the, the profit leg of this is that fourth leg. That's, that's this one. Got to look a peek around the corner here. Uh, that's this leg right here. That's your profit leg. Now, where is it going? I used to just have to uh, look at 50%. I was happy with this, guys. Happy with it. Whatever it came up over here, you know, whatever whatever this distance was right here, it was going to come down over here to fifty to to the half to the halfway point. It's just not even a fib number. I tried sixty-two, and I tried you know every fib number there was. This one got hit 80, 86, 87, 88 to to ninety percent of the time. One hundred percent got hit. 40% of the time. So which target do you want to go for? Hey, there's more money down here, but you're only going to win 40% of the time. Here, uh, you got 90%. Well, how much is it? If I went short right here, come on, well, how much are we looking at? Well, there's five. Now, for every five ticks on two contracts, it's, uh, it's $200 on two contracts. So there's uh, 200 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 1,400 uh, just on that one trade. And if your goal is a four-figure uh, goal, and the, you know, you say, I just want I don't, anything. Give me 1,000, give me 12, I don't care. Just give me four, four figures in that little box up here. Uh, your day's done. You were done by, by uh, 12, 12, 20. You were done. So it's not chicken feed normally to, to, to go for this. Here's another divergent signal here. The, the definition is a double top in price with a corresponding, and that's a key word, lower high on an oscillator. 
It could be anything. It could be a moving average, RSI. It could be uh, anything. Uh, I use a stochastic. I will use this today because I don't have the stochastic up. I don't need it because the code goes and looks at it, and I don't have to clutter up my chart with the darn thing, squiggling all over my chart. So I, I just say, here, you go find it. It's called Signal Pro, by the way. If you ever hear me say Signal Pro found it, uh, that's this thing. It, it just does so much. You wouldn't believe all the stuff this thing does. Back testing, telling you what's the best chart to be trading on. You might be trading on a, oh, I don't know, if you're a time-based guy, you're trading on a one- or two-minute chart, and at the end of the day, you say, oh, gosh, if I'd have, if I'd have been trading a, a three-minute or a five-minute chart, look at all these great signals, and I missed them. I didn't see them. This thing would this thing would grab you by the shirt collar and shake you and tell you, oh, he wouldn't do that, but he'd sure alert you and tell you, hey, there's a better chart to be trading. Uh, but uh, with me, it's the Rankos. I don't trade anything else. Here's the defini Here's uh, my definition. A uh, if, if if you just took this and drew it on a piece of of uh, oh I don't know transparent paper and you flipped it over and upside down, you'd have a you'd have a buy signal, which is a double bottom in price. Notice there's a little gap here. Didn't quite make it down there to an exact double bottom, but that's okay. That's okay. We have the higher low here. Now, price could go higher. It could go uh, for a technical double top, 80% of whatever it came down. Exact, which is okay, too. He wants to do exactly what the other one did. Or he can go higher by any amount. This thing could go to, this thing could go to 500 if it wanted. And it's still a double top. Price cannot kill a signal once it gives you a double top or a double bottom. There's nothing that price can do that could kill us a divergent signal. The only thing that could kill it would be your oscillator. And of course, if price goes too high, that oscillator is going to go too high. He's going to go up here, and that would kill the signal. He's got to stay down. It's got to. It doesn't matter. It could be a pixel, but he's got to be lower than that high over here. And that's a perfect job for a computer, for, for code. That's, that's, uh, traders have plenty to do uh, with uh, identifying high potential trades and trade management without having to do all that measuring and figuring and calculating and anticipating and filtering. Uh, you got better things to do. That, this is, that's, that's dog work. That's grunt work. And, and that's perfect for computers. They do that much, much better than, than I certainly can. A buy signal is a double bottom in price with a higher low. Burn that into your brain because you can see there's just a ton of profit in there. But it's so easy to see it on a Renko chart that you don't get, you'd, 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 you'd miss it because there's so much inherent noise on uh, uh, certainly time-based charts and tick charts. It's just noise. It just, it, I don't care what time, time frame you look at. It's just chock full of noise. And this, this has a natural, inherent ability to filter noise. It just grabs it and shoves it all in, the, in one bag <laughs> and says, here, you, know, you, 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 won't, you won't even see it. It's all, it's all stuck in one bar. Oh, and anyway, okay, so that's, we're going up here. We've got, we got a buy and we've got a sell <clears throat> divergence signal here. And, and uh, what I usually do is I'll go for my 50%, and if there is a resistance or a support line, that is uh, 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 fairly close to or, or ahead of uh, the uh, the trade, like uh, down here, here, 50% of this is right here. But when right there, well, heck, let's, <laughs> let's go for the support. It's where he wants to go. Come down here, bounce off of this thing, come up, bounce off of that one, come down here, bounce off of this one, go on up here, work his way on up, and go bounce off of this one up here. Here's here's the birth of a, of a new one out here. It's just just getting just getting born. When I see uh, these these kind of uh, things here, see that that uh, I call it just a highly directional, choppy, congested trend. The, the poor sellers they can't they can't do when they get the ball they can't do anything. They just they're lucky to get two bars in there and then the the the, the blues run over and the buyers run over. Draw a channel. And watch it. Just watch it. Because when it breaks that channel, it's telling you something really important. It hadn't broken it here. It poked out, but it's got to break. It's got a bar has to go out and close at least two thirds of the body outside of that bar. Eh, that's about half the body. Come on, there we go. There's one. 
He's telling you that, and it's, it's right there at resistance. What's what's this thing telling you, man? He's he's saying hey, we, those, the buyers are done. They're they're that they, they they're dead. They they're dead in the water. They they they're toast. So what are we going to do? We're coming on down, coming on down. And you'll just see that. Sure enough, the buyers are buyers are true. It doesn't mean that the blues can't come up up for a little bit, but they're not going to rule it. They're not going to rule anymore. Not for a while, anyway. See there, they came up for a while. But here we get a signal, a basic divergence. Where's he going? Going down here to support. How hard would it be for you to, if you go along and you see, boom, with with audible alerts, everything, uh, it does everything but uh, but uh, 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 shoot you with a rubber band, telling you that, hey, <laughs> there's a short right here, and I'm telling you where it's going. It's going right here. And boom, down he goes, and kablooey. What does he do? He's going to bounce off of that thing. Where's he going with that? Going up here to bounce off this other one, if he can make it. Down here, comes comes on through. When he passes it up, he's looking for another level. I don't uh, I don't usually uh, bet that it can make it that far in one red swoop. If he can make it that far, it would be a stair-stepping uh, type thing. But I'm looking for signals, looking for signals. And this code going hey, sure enough he did get there uh, but this this gives you a good opportunity for one of those channel breakouts let's draw one let's draw oh it's this one here let's draw a little channel this is how I do it I just you know just catch the spirit of the channel doesn't have to be perfect there that's the channel and look for the breakout boom there it is and he's saying the sellers are pretty much over <laughs> the party's over and it was for a while when they take out the bottom, when they take out the low down here, uh, which they did over here, I call this a slingshot. Uh, and, and it's not that it slingshots the market. You got another one over here. Uh, a red, blue, red. It it's kind of sandwiches a blue between two red, or it'll sandwich a, 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 a red between two blue. But uh, you know what a slingshot looks like. You hook the rubber band to the two posts, and the blue is your handle. You know, makes that Y shape. Call it a field goal. Call it a tuning fork. Call it whatever you want. Uh, but that's the shape. And and when you when you're in a trend uh, and you get one of those, there's there's profit on the other side. Profit on the other side. Now here in hindsight, guys, it does it. Uh, some of the support and resistance levels uh, do not appear where they do in, in if this were uh, a real time. And I'll show you some real time uh, um, uh, trades in just a minute. But uh, here's one of those divergent signals. See it right here? Right there. And so where's he going? Oh, here's one of those little uh, little channels. Let's just move this bugger over here. And now we got a channel. We see the breakout. What he does, and you, you'll, you'll read this in books and stuff. I just discovered it, and then a, a, wasn't a week later, I was reading a book on uh, Fibonacci. And uh, Fibonacci, yeah, it was uh, Philip Fib, Fib or Elliot Way, uh, neither of which do I use, but I was reading them. And uh, he said that they'll break out, come back, and kiss that, that trend line goodbye. And shaboom, <laughs> up he goes. That particular uh, uh, chapter was on trend lines, and, and I, I had just, I was just telling Rod, I said, and it's uncanny, it'll go up, and, and then the, at some point it'll let those sellers back in to come down and kind of kind of say goodbye <laughs> to that line, and then off he goes. But that's, uh, that's and it'll be the uh, be, be on the signal here, and, and away he goes. It's actually a, kind of an, what I call an extended divergence, because it's jumping over this one. It, it's leaping over that one little buy there that went nowhere but look at that thing look at that those those when you when you got two outside lows and two very strong dynamic lows down here and look at there below the zero, the zero line uh shoot man this thing can that thing can I mean, remember it's 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 200 bucks every bar and you know you only need a, a, a 10 12 tick stop Look at that thing go. Look at that go. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? It's going up there to that uh, to that level up here, trying to. It got the better part of it, didn't it? See how he pulls back? 50%. 50%. Didn't catch it here. Couldn't. Too much, too much power. 
we can draw one of those uh, channels right now. Can you get that? And when he can't make his 50%, draw the channel. Draw the channel and wait. Don't don't take, you know, if you can't make the 50 line down here, uh, get, when, he, when he can't make 50, watch for it to break out of the top and go long right here. And you'll see this every every time. Here he made 50, but you can still do it when he when he, he only made two bars. Comes back up, breaks out of the top. Go take go take some profit out of here. I take two bars. I'm happy with with 400 bucks here. That that just that warms my little heart. Take 400 here. Take 400 here. And uh, and so if you if you you know said oh man I forgot I did a bonehead thing. I took a, a short here. I lost, lost a little money when it came back, uh, lost 10 ticks. Well, go get, go get 400 bucks back here. All right, so what does it say when it busts out? There's your little breakout bar right there, and he says the buyers are over. They're done. And so you, uh, you look for the seller. Just stick with the sellers. They'll take good care of you. Take good care of you. And here's sl slingshot right here. Go short. Slingshot, go short. Over and over, we call these bottle rockets. Whenever it, it sticks a tail up outside of the little the little Renko box, uh, it's a slingshot. They make sense too because um, it's, it's the same um, basic theory, if you will, behind uh, candle patterns, uh, hanging man, and hammers, and shooting stars, and and uh, <laughs> four farmers on a tractor, and all that stuff, goofy uh, pattern stuff. But uh, but it, it makes sense because the buyers here are pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and they can't they can't go high enough to close out a blue bar and you'll know where that where that point is where where does it have to go before it it can close as a blue bar and he can't do it he can't get to that level and the sellers say you yeah, you're not going up there and get back down here and they make it close down here on its very low right there at the at the bottom tick. Of that bar and he closes out well, that's momentum that momentum is some has follow through carry through and uh it it uh, there's profit on that i like it on what i call the one step bar i'll show you those but there's only one tick difference between the close of one bar and the next bar but it makes very sensitive trends and they hold together uh red bar red bar red bar red bar. i mean it'll it can string a hundred red bars together, uh, and very often does, 50, 30, 50, 70, 80, 100. And, uh, and so it makes a, a, a trend really sensitive. And finally, when it can't make that extra last little tick and it goes blue, you're going to get blue, 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 blue after that. So you, you know that, okay, the party's over down there. All right, goes up, goes up, little double double bottom, bubble bottom out here. Here's a here's a basic divergence right here, too close to uh, the uh, the what it sees now as little resistance line here. Uh, might be more of a bounce off of support, a uh, freshly mended uh, support level uh, up here, and then boom, boom, boom. Uh, but you can see the you you see the uh, this. This thing right here, as we draw, if we were to draw the channel in here, and I'd probably draw it in here kind of like this, put this in here like that, trying to find some alignment, some something where I, if I can get two two highs to agree and two lows uh, to uh, to touch, then I consider that a confirmed channel. This one never confirmed, nothing ever lined up on the bottom, but it still it broke out of of the channel, kissed it goodbye and took off. Now up here, let's see what's going to happen up here. It didn't get a label, but you can see the divergence on the uh, the oscillator. We don't we don't wait for them to turn down. Uh, uh, we do, but on the on another oscillator, it's a it's a moving. It's actually a MACD that confirms it uh, that would that would put it. But evidently, he didn't see uh, the eighty percent here. He didn't make the eighty percent. Couldn't couldn't put the the basic divergence in there on it, but he does here. <laughs> he does here. All right, guys, what uh, you tell me now? We got a we got a. What's the definition of a of a of a cell signal? 
What do we have to have? Double top in price? Do we have a double top? Is there a double top there? Looks like one, doesn't it? Looks like a double top. That's a double top like my mama told me. And uh, we need a red bar. You gotta wait for the string of blue to finish, double top. But as, uh, you gotta look down here. And the question is not, do we have a lower high here? But if it were to turn down on the next bar or so, could we have a lower high from the corresponding highs? Which is this high corresponds to that one. This high corresponds to that. Where is he going? Well, 50% is not very far. And yet, it's from what I can tell, there, there may be some uh, support. Like there probably is a support line down in here uh, that, it, uh, that you would see in real time. But let's see what this thing does. Oh, he goes up. He goes up. This is one that didn't work. All right, he failed. What do you do? You get in here, you take two bars. Two bars for $400. It's 200 on each one. I'm sorry, I, I told you wrong. Five tick. This is not a, a, a 2010, so it's a 10 five. So that's 100. Uh, five ticks on two contracts is $100, and that's 200. So then, yeah, 200. Man, I'll take it. Kind of takes the sting out of getting, getting snookered back here. Here's another extended divergence, uh, but it's too skewed and, and slanted. He sees it as one because it does meet it by definition. But because this didn't work, I can't trust my sellers until we get th this thing breaking the channel. He's got to break the channel. And there it is. Let's see if he breaks it. Ah, he's broke right here. So he says, okay, the buyer should be done. It wasn't a very long, it wasn't a very long trend right there, but he said the, 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 the blue guys should be done for a while and now the reds can come down at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good little run. And they just told you that, uh, that the buyers were over down here. And very often they, they just, they're, they're done for quite a while. They're, they're going to take over again, but he, he's going to take this thing down to, down to this support line down here. Bounces right off. Just it's so predictable. Bounced right off of the thing. Uh, comes down. Let's look for another signal. Okay, here's a here's a basic divergence. I don't take the dojis, and you guys know what a doji is. Uh, that's the the eleven o'clock hour. Uh, this was on a Friday, by the way. So that was a Friday that when you see sixteen fourteen, but uh, when you see twenty three fifty nine, you know that uh, or towards it twenty two fifty nine. Uh, it, it, it's changed. The session changes at 11 o'clock central time. And I don't, I don't, I don't, so don't take any signal on the doji. In fact, I'm not even trading at that time of night. But if I did, if this, uh, if I was a night owl and I just had to trade, then I'd enter here instead of there. I just haven't, it, it, this might be okay, guys. I haven't, just haven't done a lot of really extensive study on it. Uh, anecdotally, it looks like it would be like it would be okay, but I, I've got to know that it is. I got to it's got to test it. So where's he going? He's going to come down here again, right? When he gets there, he's going to jiggle. He usually does. No, he just sailed right on through, right on through. This isn't the bounce. That's too far. That didn't bounce off of that that level. He just he just blew through it. Now what this thing does on these uh, support and resistance levels when uh, when you know, the market will see them and they'll recognize them and they'll bounce and you'll see them boom, 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 and uh, you know, come up and hit it and go then go red and hit it and hit it and bounce and, and hit it. But when it starts uh, sliding through and, and ignores it, and if it does it five times, this, this bar, this uh, box here, if you will, goes gray, turns gray, still there, but it goes gray. And then if it ignores it, uh, and slides right through it three more times. That's the way I have mine set up. I can set it up any way I want. I could have it ignore it three times and go gray, or uh, ten times. Uh, I can go in there and uh, and uh, adjust those parameters. But isn't it amazing how that how that uh, works? It hits it here, and then it remembers it over here. And it'll do that over and over again. 
Now he comes on back up. If he comes back down, look and see if he bounces off of it. Sure enough, he well, he jiggle. He jiggle a little bit. Now, if this happens, you want to catch it and go down to the next level. If there was one down here, I would, because that's a slingshot. Slingshot right there. And when when he's when you get a good and this is one of the easiest easiest things to uh, to learn right here and and I, I this is my Fibonacci that's my Fibonacci right there it's only got the fifty percent level and it's not even a fib level but that green right there is the fifty percent and when it runs down like this it's okay I can forgive one to two bars I can go in there and tell it how many bars is allowed to forgive uh, so if, I would love it if it was all red. Or just like this was all blue. When he runs up all blue, he's going to come down 50% of that. When you get a good, healthy run, but it, where it's been just garbage in here, uh, you know, uh, blue and we uh, have not a bad one right here. He says, "I'll get there. I'll get there." But it took the basic divergence to do it. He'll he'll come up if he fails to get there, and then comes down and makes a a, a basic divergence buy signal. He did it here and he did it there, but you want the one on the blue background, not the red background. Get the blue, enter here, and take it to the 50. If there's no, if there's a resistance level up here, take it to there. But down we go, and he says, I'll take you to 50. Well, shoot, that's 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 700 bucks. 700. Now we just go into chopping garbage with a bullish uh, uh, attitude, but there's nothing in there to, to trade on. Now there is. Now there is. Actually, when he started to wake up right here, and this is what I look for, and I, I just don't, yeah, you, know, you look at that and say, well, it's got a bullish bias. I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a buy. You know, I'll take a long if I see one for, for one bar or something. I'd forget it. Leave it alone. Let the market show you that it's woke up. It's, it, it's, it's alive again. And here are the buyers. Look what the buyers did here. They didn't. They never did that back in here. They haven't. They didn't do it here. They haven't. They haven't run that well since way back here. So they woke up, and if it's enough, then see right here that says, eh, Roger, do you want you want a hundred bucks? I, I can get you a hundred bucks. Well, okay. I'll, I will not enter the market for less than a hundred bucks. That's on two contracts. Fifty dollars if I'm trading one, but it's got to be a hundred. Boom. There it is, and I'm and I'm out. I'm out unless I had a, a support level down here, then I'd go for that. And I don't care, you know. I've got a hundred dollars here. It doesn't matter as long as this is a four figure at the end of my trading morning. It doesn't bother me a bit to to take a hundred or two here and and then see that I had a there was a a, a ton down here because I, I get so many signals throughout the day. Here I'm in. I'm in. I got it right here. Take it down to uh, to a support level. And, and on this, I have no target. There's no 50% of nothing down here, so I'll take it for two bars, the, the little guy here. And if there's a support level, then I will. But this one just started right here. It, you couldn't see it back here. And down it goes, down it goes. And there's something, he, oh, that old Fibonacci uh, line down here. He finally came down and got his 100%. <laughs> finally got 100 on that old Fib level. Comes on back, I think, I'm going to take that fib off of there. We don't need it anymore. Up it goes, up it goes, little stub signal. That's, that's, you want something, you want something worthwhile. Let's get a, let's get a double top. There's a double top. Now, as a divergence signal, first we know the quality on it, the form isn't really all that great, is it? Uh, it's just, it, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of beat up in here, isn't it? But this is what I like. This is what I like right here. And this is what tells me that the market will remember this level. The market has an amazing memory, just like he had here. He, he drops all this distance, and he says, I'm going to get 50% of this back from this high to this low. I'm going to get 50 of it back. Now, I may get 100, but I'll only do that about 40% of the time. I'll get 100 uh, anywhere from 85 to 90% of the time. Only in, in the strongest trends can it not get its 50. And then if you're wrong, if you got snookered on the first one, 
you just take the take the uh, slingshot and grab grab two more bars or three. <laughs> Depends on how how uh, how uh, uh, aggressive uh, a trader you are. But here you go. And oh, by the way, guys, stops stops. Where in the heck do you put your stop? You put your stop where whatever bar you're getting, you your what I call the trigger bar. This is the trigger bar. If we had a signal up here, that would be the trigger bar. It's actually a swing high. One tick above the tail of that bar. If I'm going short on the slingshot here, I'm going, I've got well, my stop goes one tick above there. If I'm going short on, on the, the breakout, which would be here, my stop still has to be above one tick above there. Uh, if I'm going uh, long here, it's one tick below here. If I'm going short up here, one tick above that. And the reason, I mean, just look at it. They, if you're, if, 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 don't you hate it when you take a trade and the market comes back at you, knocks you out of the saddle? Man, you're sitting there burning in the weeds while the market then turns and goes on for a for, what would be a fortune in your profit direction. And you're just sitting there holding your hat and wondering what happened. Well, what, what happened? I, you know, it came and got me. Put it one tick below there. If the market comes down and gets you, the trade's not going to work, and you don't want to be in it anyway. But one tick here, it's not going to get you. They leave you alone. One tick here, not going to bother you. One tick here, it's not going to get you. One tick here, one tick there, they're not, they're not going to get you. If you but you got to know trade management. Now, if you stay in a trade too long, any trade, I don't care what it is, stay in any trade too long, and eventually you'll lose. You overshoot the runway. There's one of those congested, choppy little little uptrends right here. But look at the look at how beautifully there. See, that's one of those big up moves. It runs up, but when it when the sellers pull back here, they 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 couldn't pull back more than one or two bars. And I don't see more. I don't see more than one red bar in there. So you put your little channel right in here like that. When it breaks out, there's your breakout bar, and down he goes. He says the buyers are done here. And there's a little, little you can go short here, but your stop would have to be here, or go short here and put your stop right there. And you can quickly, once it, once your first bar and starts maybe the second, then you can start moving this down. But don't don't get that. If you're going to try to catch a big move, don't don't get too don't get too antsy on moving that that stop. Uh, that'll that'll uh, that'll that kills most most trend traders get killed by moving their stop too tight too quick. This is just choppy slop in here. Leave it alone. Now it's starting to wake up. He says, "I'll get you two hundred dollars here," but it, we don't have a signal. But he says, "I'll get half of that back up here." He runs up. He says, "I'll get half of that back." That's right here. There's, it was a hundred, uh, hundred and fifty maybe. Now you go. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is really nice. It just doesn't have a lot of volatility, but he says I, I can get you here. You know, that's uh, you know, I can get you two hundred bucks in here if you want it. So you go along right here, put your stop one tick below there, and up you go, and boom. I mean, to the tick, he hits it. Let's see. Normally he'll come on back up. Yeah, he did. He did. Finish the job. Uh, let's see, one, two, little bouncy, bouncy in here. What you're looking for when he does, when the market does this, you're looking for some. Doesn't have to be spectacular, but some kind of a move of one side or the other, reds or blues. The red here, and and that's why we, I like these little guys drawn because when when this bar is forming right here, I can look and say, you know, how much is that? Uh, that's going to be one. It's going to be 150 bucks, or you know, 140 or so. Do I want it? Yeah, yeah. That's great form. We're pushing off a of support. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. And boom, boom. <laughs> that's one of those that hits it to the tick. That's why I go for 50. But later he he pulls back a little and then comes on back up. Where's he going? It's going to the next level and the next level and just bouncing around in here. Now this is this is what I look for right here. This now this is nice. This is exceptional. So right in here, you're looking for the market remembers that. You know, I kind of think of it as 
up in here, and it, and it launched on a basic divergence signal, so it wasn't any big surprise that it made a, a, a nice move down. But it's like they, the, the, something comes out, a news report or something, some rumor, something, could be anything. Uh, saber rattling over in, over in the Middle East, could be anything. And the sellers go berserk. And so they go into a selling frenzy. And sometimes these, these things can go for miles. And then down here at the bottom, they say, whoa, wait a minute. What was all that about? Well, I don't know. I was selling because you were selling. <laughs> well, okay. Let's go and get, let's get, let's get back up here. And they'll make, uh, make some attempt. And sometimes they have to make a basic divergence or something here to, to get there. But he'll get his 50%, again, 90% of the time. Let's see if he does it here. Oops, it's the wrong tool. There's my fib. It marks it. it. It marks it. It's this one right here, that level right there. He says, I'll get that. I'll get that. Hang on, Sloopy, I'll get it. <laughs> He's going to take a couple of swipes at it. Boom, <laughs> he got it. This is sometimes he does it. He'll try and he'll try, and he, but it's a quest. It's like the market just can't stand it. It's got to get up there. And once he gets to 50, uh, you know, he may want to continue on up or he's, he's done. He'll turn and go and never return to that level. But here you can see he just ran up here to, to, to this one. What's this? This is this is your opportunity to say, whoa, man, there's 50% of this. This is the, this is going to be a gold mine if price can get down to, the, to this thing. Well, sure enough, man, he turns and, and look at that. It's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, six, it's about 600 bucks just just in one swoop. So if I miss this, if I miss this, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't cry. Don't uh, I don't uh, throw a fit because <laughs> I know that okay, I, you know the, the market's running. I'm going to get it when it comes back, and it'll do it 90% of the time. Look at this. There's comes down big old move. He gets 50 here. He gets 50% here. He gets 50% here. You know, when the market's swinging like this, there's a 50, he gets it here. Now it turns to trash. Ah, there's a, there's a nice little move. We look for 50%. And where's his, where's his triple bottom? Well, he, did, he, he got a little base, basic divergence here. Couldn't get to his 50. So when he takes out this low, you get, you get your money back down here. Now, there's a big difference between this and chasing the market. With these Renko bars, and signals that fail to do what they're supposed to do, and that's at least get the market to the 50 level, and they can't do it, they're dead. There's something wrong with them. They're, they're, take advantage of it, because the other side is, and they're, gonna, they're just going to roll over it. Look at that. That'd be a perfect little opportunity for a, a trend channel right here. Perfect little opportunity. Look for that breakout. I don't even need the bottom line. I don't care about the bottom because it's it's going to break to the top. So he breaks out here and says, "Okay, the 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 buyer, I'll let those sellers in for a little bit, but they're they're done. The market's going to be going to be heading up from now." And sure enough, that that was the bar that said the party's over. And here they break out again, and away it goes. Now this is the current market here, and again, you've got a you've got an opportunity for a channel. Get a channel right there. There's the breakout bar, and that's saying, okay, whatever it ran up here, it's done, and the sellers are going to take over. These will come down. A good bet would be right here to uh, to support. Might bounce around a little bit and then go blue. Uh, you know, have to see. This isn't exactly the time of day to be to be trading, but he wants to get here. This is this is where he wants to get to ultimately. 102.48. All right, let me show you a, a little uh, video of how trading actually looks. It, it, you know, yeah, you can go back and scroll back and do all that stuff there, but uh, and, and there's nothing cooking right now to, to show you. But I can show you here what uh, what it looks like on uh, uh, you know when you're actually trading. See the basic divergence, little purple. And all I'm going to do is trade on this one from support level to resistance to support to resistance. I see this one, and I know where he's going to he's going to trigger. If he, if the red bar gets down to that yellow hash mark, 
at uh, 1343.60. He's got to go one more tick, so I put it one tick further uh, at 70, or 50, excuse me. Uh, then, boom, I'm in. I'm in. Where am I going? I'm going to go here? Right, oh. right here, right here. So we pull our stop down to the one tick above there, and we pull our profit target down here one tick. We sit back and we wait. Now, this is what I'm showing you here is how to make $1,000 and just in the morning, uh, and still have, and still be uh, uh, out there on the golf course by uh, by tea time. Uh, and that's that's my goal here. To starting at uh, about five thirty. That's the time I'm usually up and sitting at my computer and trading. Target filled. All right, we get that one. We made two hundred and eighty on that one. So let's take the next one. Next signal. We're only going to take signals now. All right, I or see a stub signal, or excuse me, a basic divergence uh, potential. It's just warn, warning me when it's gray right here. He just warns me. If it comes up and closes the blue bar, then this turns to yellow, and we'll have an arrow, or he's going to be he's going to be pink is what he's going to be. The arrow will turn green. We'll have a green arrow like we had down here. But he's got to fill first. Can't make no money until I hear that ninja gal say order filled and preferably target filled. Come on up, come on order up. Filled. All right, got it. Now, where, where's my target going to be? I got to move my green up here just a little bit. And uh, I just have some general things. I need to move my stop up here. Get it one tick below there. There we go. Uh, now the the uh, so I just get some general parameters in there just to get in the market and then I do my adjusting of the stop and the target. Target filled. Target filled. All right, I'm halfway to my to my one one thousand. Looking for another signal. Wiggle the signal here. Come on, come on, get me up here. Find something. I don't care. <laughs> Buy, sell, or or uh, anything in between. Order. Pending. Okay. Got a stub signal. It's a signal that we'll teach you if you come into our trading room. We'll teach you what a stub is. It's a it's a deformed basic divergent signal. Is really what a stub signal is. And they're powerful stuff. They're really powerful. Target filled. Target filled. Okay. That one made six twenty. Remember, I'm just going from support to resistance, resistance to support. I got to have a signal. I'm not getting a signal yet. And I circle them for you so you can see that we're just taking signal. Ah, basic divergence Order here. Order pending. Basic divergence. Order filled. Order filled. Now I move my target to. Target uh, filled. <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? 760. So I'm just a, I'm just a chip shot away from my goal on uh, what looks like about five trades here, and I think this one took a while. This one took a little while. Ah, there it is. Basic order divergence. Pending. Let's get our get our order in there. One tick below the yellow hash, and circle the order signal. Filled. Order filled. Where's my Where's my target go? It's going to go down here. We're, we're leaving here, so we're going down to here, and my stop goes one tick above there. Now, you guys think you could do this? Just trade the, 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 the support to resistance, resistance to support, waiting for a signal, and you don't have to wait long. Here's another one coming in. I circle it, but I'm already short, so I don't need to be in the stub signal. But it just gives me a good uh, confidence that, hey, you know, we, we are going down here. Hang on, hang Sorry. over. We're getting down there. All right, twelve sixty. Twelve sixty on uh, what five trades or so. So anyway, all right. Let's go uh, back to our PowerPoint and finish up. Uh, so great, great trades for me begins with having the right chart. The right chart for me may not be the right chart for you. We'll help you find it. The full student uh, course. Uh, and people say, well, okay, what's different about you guys? What what is different? Uh, well, the full student course includes a manual. Well, whoop de doo everybody's got a manual. How about an extensive training video library? Well, yeah, everybody's got that too, but I can't ask a, a manual questions, and I 
I can't ask a video uh, a question. And I'm going to have questions. Sure you are. So come on into our uh, daily training. Every single day we teach and train our students. Remember, if you quit learning, you quit winning. We teach our students new stuff, great stuff, new techniques, new indicators, new this, every single day. Help you stay ahead of the game. Unlimited access to the daily trading room. So you can actually see everything you learn, everything I just showed you, and a whole lot more. There's a lot more to learn. Uh, uh, you'll see it happening every day, and you say, wow, that, that, uh, that stretch W and that stretch M and the, and the breakouts that Roger taught me, that they, man, they happen. Every, there were 15 of them today. You'll, you'll see it in the live trading room where we, we pull, a, pull the trigger on. You see the trades called. You see them. We talk about them. We take them. We manage them. And we exit the trades right in front of your right in front of your nose, so you see every one of them. And we do our commentary the whole time it's going. One full month of free Signal Pro. Signal Pro is our software. Uh, it is uh, 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 continuously every day, seven days a week. It is uh, it is improved, added to, added to, and and. Uh, upgraded and upgraded. You never pay for a, a Signal Pro upgrade. We recently uh, introduced uh, a form of auto trade. The darn thing trades for itself. You teach it what you want it to. It's not a black box because you're going to teach it what you want it, what the signals you want it to go find and where you want it to go with them and where you want it to get out and how you want it to manage that trade and then it'll go and do it. Uh, we could have we could have easily said okay this this feature is going to be Get out your billfold. We're gonna, we're gonna pop you for fifteen hundred bucks for this thing. We didn't. Nothing. We we just don't do it. Uh, I know a lot of other people do, but you know, you you put your faith, your hope, your trust, and your money on Falcon Trading, and we take it from there. This is probably what would you guys uh, think about this? Um, if I brought someone to you, let's say you're a you're a accomplished trader. And I brought somebody to you, and I said, "Okay, here's uh, here's Joe, and uh, Joe's fairly new at trading, and uh, he doesn't have much patience. He's got no focus. Uh, he's uh, very limited in his capitalization, and uh, kind of a cranky old guy. But he wants to learn to trade. Now I'm going to pair him up with you." Not for a week, not for a month, not for six months, not for a year, forever, forever. You're, 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 you're married to this guy, and you've got to work with him every day. You have to, if, he, if he needs you at 10 o'clock at night, you've got, to, you've got to get on Skype or the phone, and you've got to help him. You've got to answer his questions. You've got to show him or, or, or get, him, get him cleared on, on what, he, what he's what he's got questions on, what he needs. How about weekends? Yeah, I'm sorry, guy. You got to give up your weekend if he needs you. You know, if he says, "Man, I need you from 10 to 12 on Saturday." Guess what? You got to you got to knock a hole in your Saturday to take care of this guy. What would you charge? What would you charge for that? What if you had a hundred like that? You had a hundred of these. What would you charge to to babysit uh, uh, someone? For one, you'd have to have the heart of a teacher. You would have to love this. You'd have to love teaching more than you love breathing almost. And so most of you would say, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for any price. Would you do it for $1,995? <laughs> I mean, we were, we were, for many, many years, we charged... 4,500, and, and traders said, man, you're way underpriced. You're way underpriced. Uh, 4,500. All right, uh, Signal Pro, you saw it. it. This is all it does. Back test, uh, forward test, uh, instantly monitors vital information, uh, that global strategy that I told you about, some of what you learn, proper, profitable trade management, accurate price prediction, you know, surpri proprietary entries. We have 16 that uh, don't exist outside of Falcon Trading. The full student course, $1,995. Special pricing does end July the 5th. We will, I don't want you to, anybody to buy anything now. I want you to try the software, and we have it here for you. Uh, you can see all the things that, that our trial software version does, and you get the free training, first, uh, free personal mentorship, 
and access to the Felton Trading Room for two full weeks. Get a hold of Beverly at feltontrading.com. She will get you fixed up. Everything included, $19.95. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to sell you anything. I'd like for you to try it. See if it fits what you're looking for in a trading system. Uh, and I'll answer. I'll, I'm here to answer questions and teach you. And uh, we'd like to thank you. Greatly appreciate your attendance, your input, your question, and our very special thanks to everyone at the Trading Pub. Great folks, and uh, thanks for inviting us. Anyone having additional questions or wishing to learn more, you can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one uh, session with me. No charge, no obligation. Nobody's going to try to sell you anything. And how about we see you in the Felton Trading Room? Go to feltontrading.com, sign up, and we'll see you there. Hey, thanks uh, again to uh, Trader Pub, and I'll turn it